from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. For people with high blood pressure, listen up, and there's quite a few. Can an exercise program lower blood pressure as effectively as medications? Here with results and new research, we always like to bring in Dr. Scott Davis, excuse me, our cardiologist, resident cardiologist from Baptist Health, to explain these things because these research papers you guys get back, I know they're pretty extensive, Dr. Yeah, Davis. Yeah. And so we employ you to go over there and read through all the hundred and some Grind. pages. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. And what did this Happy find? New Year. And what, what, what is the difference? So how are you doing with your New, re new Year's resolution? Okay. You doing okay? Yeah, sure. I mean, like, I'm nine days, no Brussels sprouts. That's right. right. Well, so, well so, it's still early. <laughs> that's right. Yes. So exercise is usually the top tier uh, New Year's resolution. And there's new data that's come out from a really interesting article, an interesting study done in the British Journal of Sports Medicine, where they looked at a meta-analysis, in other words, a retrospective look at over 40,000 patients that were treated or were evaluated in, in different studies, over 190 different randomized studies looking at blood pressure and comparing antihypertensive medical regimen versus an exercise arm. And interestingly, there was only about a four millimeter of mercury difference in the drop in blood pressure. Both arms, in other words, the medical arm, if you got a, a pill, some antihypertensive medicine, versus an exercise regimen, both lowered blood pressure. But interestingly, in the, in the arm of medicine, it was about an eight millimeter drop, mean. I mean, that's across 40,000 people. Okay. But the exercise arm was about four millimeters of mercury drop. So what does it say? It says that, look, it's not an either or thing. It's not, I'm either going to take a pill or I'm going to exercise. It's the fact that the thing we've been preaching all along in, in this segment is, look, get off the couch, right? We want to see you exercise because it, it is a combination of, there's a big benefit to augmenting your blood pressure regimen with exercise, right? Okay. And so, Look, there are a number of, we're not just treating a number, okay? And there are a, a, a host of different benefits to a tailored regimen of blood pressure modification. So these, these class of medicines like beta blockers, like ACE inhibitors, do more than just bring down a number. They have, they're very heart friendly and cardio protective and kidney friendly. But what it's saying is, is that combining combining exercise with your antihypertensive regimen is going to be even more effective. I can't tell you the number of times people come to me in the office and go, hey doc, can I stop taking some of these medicines? Well, you may be able to tailor back some of these medicines and so instead of being on four blood pressure medicines, we might be able to treat you back to three, for instance, by being more aggressive about your exercise efforts. The other interesting thing that was observed in this study was that the most benefit that uh, was gained was people that were already on antihypertensive therapy. In other words, folks that were already diagnosed with high blood pressure who then it, who then embarked on an aggressive exercise program got the biggest benefit in their blood pressure reduction. So it, it, it's not an either or. It's not like, ooh, I'm either going to take a pill or I'm going to exercise. The, 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 the take home here is that it's a combination effect and it will help augment uh, blood pressure control. Both those two things working Absolutely. together and Absolutely. working for you to make yep. sure you can stay heart healthy. Hey, if you want to keep on amazing, you can contact Baptist Health at the Baptist Health Healthline, 1-888-BAPTIST. And for more resources, go to baptist-health.com. Dr. Davis, Good thanks. Good to see you, man. Happy New Year, too. Yes, Thank sir. You. Yes, sir.